Right, so this is the higher 2023. Um, I was leaving this until fairly close to the exam to give you a bit of practice with some other questions first, but um, some of you in my class had asked me to go over this and I'm then going to stick this on YouTube as well. Um, I'm not going to do every single question, but there are some things in here that are maybe a little bit different about a couple of the systems questions. Beyond that, I'm mostly going to focus on the, the problem solving. I'm not going to do all the kind of knowledge and understanding KU type questions that are maybe asking you an advantage of Agile or something like that. So first of all, um, we've got this two's complement question and it's round the other way compared to what you would normally have. So this one is giving you the binary number in two's complement and asking you to get denary. Most of the time when you see this sort of question, it's been the other way around. It's been a denary number that you have to turn into two's complement binary. So I've already put the headings in and I've put the numbers in for 11110000. Now if you think about the process, if we were doing this the normal way, you would write out the positive number, you would flip the bits, and then you would add one. So if I want to reverse that and undo each of those steps, I'll start from the end to work backwards. So first of all I want to subtract the one that we've just added. Now if I ignore everything on this side for now, and just look over here, I've got 16 and then zeros for here, so the value of this is 16. If I want to subtract 1, the value I'm going to be looking for is 15. And the way I'm going to get 15 is by putting a 0 here and then 1's here. So if I have 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, that would add up to 15, right? 8 and 4 is 12, plus 2, plus 1, gives me 15. These bits would stay the same. So that's me reversed the adding 1. Then I reverse the flipping the bits. So I turn all the 1s to zeros and zeros to 1s. And that gives me what the positive number would be. So if we look, the only one that's got a 1 there is 16. So it's 16, but this is a 2's complement number. So it's negative 16 is the answer. Right, so it's maybe just when you look at it at first you think, how did I do that? But it's just doing the steps in reverse. Um, I'm not going to do all the stuff about advantages and disadvantages. I do want to do the floating point number because it's got a bit about Mantissa um, and accuracy in there. So, convert the binary number below to floating point representation. Um, we've got 16 bits for the Mantissa, which in actual fact means 15 over here because the same bit is one of them, and then 8 bits for the exponent. So, if I zoom in on the number, first of all, well, in fact, before we do that, let's do the sign bit. So this is a negative number, so therefore that sign is going to be a 1. If it had no negative sign, it would be a positive number, and the sign would be a 0. Then we'll look at the actual bits here. Now what I really want to do is to move that decimal point to before the first 1. So I'm going 1, 2, 3, 4 five steps. So five steps to the right and this is now where the point is and that means that it's negative five so I would write negative five and two's complement. To do that I'm gonna have zero 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 then eight four two one so zero one zero one so that's positive five in binary flip the bits and then add one so one 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 one. So that's the exponent. The Mantissa. Um, thankfully this one, the way it's been laid out, it's quite easy to write, to group into a 3 and then some groups of 4 to get my 15 bits. So it's everything that comes after this new decimal point. So 101000111. However, that's not 15 bits. I'm 4 bits short, so I would pad that out with zeros on the end. And that now takes me to my 15 bits. You see, I've, I've grouped them with 4s because it's much easier for you to count that you've got the right number of digits. If you've got, you know, 12 ones in a row or something, it's going to be very easy for you to make a mistake. And it also makes it a little bit easier for the person who's marking it. State the effect of increasing the number of bits allocated to the Mantissa. So here's a way to think about this. I'm going to switch pen colour for this part of the question. 
let's say that I've got a number, and if you remember back to the way it would have been done in National 5, say you've got something like 0 0.101 times 10 or times 2, whatever, to the power of 5. If I increase this, the number of bits in this part, what I'm really doing is increasing the, the accuracy, the precision that we can go into. It's possibly easier to think of it the other way around, that if I make this 5, say that was 8, then 10 to the power of, if I'm multiplying by 10 to the power of 8, that's going to give me a much bigger number. So it's a much bigger range of numbers. The eventual number that you could make with that is going to be much bigger if you're multiplying it by a bigger value. So more bits, more digits in there for the exponent is going to be much bigger. If I had something like this exponent, sorry, this Mantissa where it's uh, 0 0.101 then let's say I want more more bits allocated. I might have maybe a 0, 0.101 0, 1 or something on the end, but if I've only got certain number of bits, then I'm effectively having to round. Say I only had three bits for that, I lose all this detail in the number, and if I might only even have one bit for it, and now it's just 0 0.1. Basically I'm rounding here, so I'm losing a lot of precision. So the effect of increasing the number of bits means a, you've got more bits in the matissa, it's going to be more accurate. So, more bits means it's more accurate. or more precise. Um, I'll do the last systems question here. Just because this has got like four lines and it maybe looks as if it's a bigger question than it actually is. It's a state question, it's a really short answer to this. So, the purpose of the public key and the secure transmission of data, you know, the question doesn't actually use the word encryption. It's not asking you the role of the public key in encryption. So, the public key is used to encrypt Now, if you'd been asked something about the public and private key, you might then have a, a, a description or an explanation in there that the the public key is used to encrypt data and that data can then only be decrypted with the corresponding private key because they come as a pair, but as the question is, all it's asking you for is what the public key is used for. And your answer to that is that it's used to encrypt.